Here we got the Kenyan barbecue beef. After this, after this, I'm going to go. It's like a good and bad thing. It makes you sweat more though. Yeah, true. After this, I'm going to go to uh, Spain get the sangria flight. Which is like, it should be right there. I don't know how people deal with this. Do you think you're going to drink them all or should I just get them all? I think they're going to be like this small, so I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, check it though. It's good. It has like, like a, a sweet coleslaw on the top. Is the beef sweet? Yeah, the top is sweet. Like the really top sweet. Is sweet, but not the actual beef? I don't think so. Interesting. And then it has mashed potatoes on the bottom. I oh, think. Bless. Well, it looks like mashed potatoes. Where can I find a fork? I'll try a little piece. Mm. Oh, there's another fork. Well, not just a tiny little piece. It's like a, oh, that's the beef. I haven't even tasted the beef yet. You haven't tasted the beef, Kevin? No. That's like the most important part. Oh, this part was really good. Will you try to eat the vegetables? I guess. The carrot. I don't think that's mashed potatoes, though. I think it's something else. Like, like cauliflower? Yeah, like made yes. it look, but it tastes like mashed potatoes. That's good. I love the spice in it. Yeah. Chanel, her liner pencil. I was like. I wonder what the employees do at the work here. This is a free uh, steam room. Literally. Did you guys know that the Titanic had a spa? It was called the Turkish Baths. And they had like a Turkish bath, they had a pool, a plunge pool. They had an electric bath, which was basically like heat lamps. <laughs> but it was the newest thing at the time. So I you would lay under there. I saw the plunge, the plunge, huh? I saw the plunge pool. It was when, you know, Jack and Rose were like running through it. That was it. Oh, you said plunge pool, right? Plunge pool. Yeah, I saw that. No, you didn't. Plunge On the Titanic pool. in the movie, they ran right through it. They ran. I'll show you. Not now because my battery. Because I, I don't think that was in the movie. I'll show you. Huh. Direct, direct. Interesting enough, it was the only room in the Titanic that was completely waterproof. So as the ship flooded, the pool never flooded. Weird. Isn't that insane? That one day I forgot to bring my air cooling <laughs> system. Good thing the sun's not really out, though. Can you imagine? Well, it doesn't really matter, but... I think people would get heat stroke. The Kenyan barbecue beef is really good. I've had the score between 1 and 10. I'll give it like an 8. It's pretty good. Very sweet. Do it. Do it. Snow White. That's Snow White. I know, I'm channeling Snow White. <laughs> okay, I'm here in Spain to get the Sangria flight. Good, good, good. Alright. Okay, I got the Sangria flight. Here it is. I haven't tried them yet. <laughs> <laughs> what flavor is that? Red sangria? Yeah. White sangria? White sangria, maybe? rose sangria, red sangria. Enjoy. <laughs> Thank you. Enjoy.
We got the red sangria, the white sangria, and the rose sangria. This should be good. First we try the red. This is like a typical. No, they're like watered down, though. No? They're a little watered down. The only one I like out of these is the rose. Tastes a little watery, watered down a little bit. I think it's missing its flavor. Especially the red. So overall verdict on the Sangria flight, <clears throat> I wouldn't get it. If you're a fan of Sangria, you'll be you'll be very disappointed. It's a little bit watered down. Maybe it was just mine that was watered down, but they do come out of like fountain uh, machines, so that's maybe why. I don't know. But yeah, I wouldn't get it again. I'll probably just order just a regular Sangria in one of the restaurants or by itself but not not the ones that come out of the fountain so <clears throat> the sangria if i had to rank it between one and ten i'll give it a five Is this purple sake? Purple sake. And it is the best drink here. Oh too. man, this is good. Yeah, it is good. Is, that, is it even alcohol in this? Kevin, can you take a picture of us? No, no, get back here. Mmm. What is this called? This is the purple sake? Mm-hmm. Uh, is it right? Violet sake. Violet sake. I think I messed everyone up. I keep saying purple. Got it. Really good. It's the violet sake. And it's really good. If I had to rank this from it's 1 to best. 10, that's the best. I give it a 9.8. That's pretty high. Right? It, it is one of the best ones. It's amazing. It's my favorite drink at Epcot. I remember they said that was the best one here. You don't want this in here? You want some of the violet sake, Nico? Here. The JP. <laughs> That's the best drink. I was thinking so. That's really good too. I love. Oh, you know what? It's like a Jolly Rancher. Is it? It tastes like a Jolly Rancher? For me, yeah. The same one you got. It's similar, right? The lemon, yeah. Yeah. They told me there was no alcohol on it. I'd be, I would be like, okay, yeah, I believe you.
Okay, I'm inside a Connections eatery to escape the rain, and everybody else is too. Okay, got the peanut butter jelly sticky wings. There you go. Look at that. Looks delicious. Just try this out. It's good. It actually works. It doesn't seem that so weird. Interesting. This is where we met Santa. Yeah. I know. Well, this is really good. You guys got one. What is the garden? This is really good. You guys have to try it. No one got thank you. I'm so full. What do you eat? That big sandwich that I'm Oh my god. But I'm glad I ate it. I'm not going to lie. This is really good. I enjoyed it. Welcome to the Ruby Lab at Epcot, where the future is being tasted today. Be sure to refer to your festival passports. We knew we're not here. That's right, Vicky. I'm so glad we dry this. A little bit of Peanut butter jelly works. And that's that. It's like not even that normal. It's like not even weird. Joy fell asleep too. It's not a weird thing to do. It's like. Mika, which one are these? Something. With that, yeah. with chunks of peanuts. Vinegar? Some, wait, that let me say really salt and vinegar. Salt and vinegar, but one is like sweet potato casserole, oh. barbecue bacon. It must be good. And one is little tiny. Oh my god, this is too big. I give the peanut butter jelly wings. I give it a score of. 8.9, I'd say, 8.9. Yeah, it's right over there, with, uh, so, uh, another side of the wall right there. Before the exit, you go right, don't go out, go right. I've got it rain because my allergies are a lot better now. Yeah. I think I've had to rain, I think it was You know you gotta go to Universal Studios to get a big pink donut? They do have this out for the night. Just go right here. This place. Yeah, this place does. Okay, everybody, it's August 3rd and it is Halloween here. Started uh, August 1st. And uh, yeah, look at the beautiful Halloween decorations. It was only 30 minutes ago I was in Epcot. No, less than that, about 20 minutes, no, about 30 minutes ago I was in Epcot and it was pouring down rain. And I'm over here at Magic Kingdom and it looks like the floors are dry. It doesn't even look like it rained over here. And that's Florida for you. Place of choice that I seem to always be going to when I'm in Magic Kingdom is the Columbia Harbor House for quick service. That and Pecos Bill seems to be the best. I'm surprised nobody's talking about this barrel bridge. What happened to the barrel bridge? Why is it gone? Was there an accident or something? It's color right there. The lady has the cloud right there. Which offers you this chilling challenge to find a way out. <laughs> There's always my way. Well, 
Well, I did it for today. I was trying to see the hat box ghost, but it went so fast and my camera would not adjust to the lighting. I can barely see it. But with my eyes, I can see it. I can see the, the, the cloth covering that area. For those of you standing, please hold on to the handrails throughout our journey and stay clear of the doors. For the comfort of others, no smoking, please. Thank you. I always love sunsets in Florida. Sylvia and the Pixar are your favorite undersea towns from Disney Pixar's Finding Nemo. 